the cybersecurity risk management process is a structured four-step approach that forms the backbone of effective security strategies in SASE environments. This methodical framework enables organizations to address cyber threats while maintaining operational efficiency in a systematic manner. The four steps include risk identification, risk assessment, risk mitigation, and risk monitoring and review. The first critical step involves recognizing and cataloging potential vulnerabilities across your digital ecosystem. This process begins with a comprehensive inventory of information assets, including hardware, software, services, networks, and human resources that cyber criminals could target. A thorough risk identification phase requires conducting vulnerability assessments to expose weaknesses in systems and applications, classifying assets based on their importance and sensitivity to the organization, considering both internal factors, such as configuration issues and external threats, and documenting all potential attack vectors that could compromise security. This foundational step creates visibility into the organization's risk landscape, establishing a baseline for subsequent analysis and mitigation efforts. Once risks are identified, they must be evaluated to determine their potential impact and likelihood of occurrence. This analytical phase involves estimating the financial, operational, and reputational consequences of each identified risk, determining the probability of threats exploiting specific vulnerabilities, prioritizing risks based on their significance to the organization's operations, and conducting impact analyses to quantify potential costs and business disruptions. Risk assessment transforms abstract threats into measurable business concerns, allowing security teams to focus resources where they'll have the most significant protective effect. This step often leverages frameworks like NIST SP 830, which provides structured guidance for federal information systems, but serves as a valuable model for private organizations as well. After prioritizing risks, organizations must implement appropriate controls and strategies to address them. The mitigation phase includes developing tailored strategies to reduce identified risks based on their severity and business impact, implementing technical controls, policies, and procedures to minimize vulnerabilities and selecting appropriate risk treatments, which may include risk acceptance, avoidance, transfer, or reduction. It's also important to enforce cybersecurity policies that align with the organization's risk appetite and business objectives. Effective mitigation doesn't necessarily mean eliminating all risks. Instead, it involves making informed decisions about which risks to address based on a cost-benefit analysis and organizational priorities. For many organizations, purchasing quality cyber insurance has become a crucial component of their risk management strategy, offering financial protection against residual risks. The final step acknowledges that cybersecurity risk management is not a one-time effort, but a continuous process that requires vigilance and adaptation. This ongoing phase involves continuously monitoring the effectiveness of implemented controls and security measures, adapting strategies to address evolving threats and changing business environments, conducting regular tabletop exercises that include executives, board members, IT departments, and PR teams, and reviewing and updating the risk management plan based on new vulnerabilities, threats, or organizational changes. Regular testing is crucial to validate what works in the plan and what needs improvement. Organizations should gather feedback from each department after testing exercises and incorporate those updates into their cybersecurity protocols. The cyclical nature of this four-step process ensures that security measures remain effective despite the constantly shifting threat landscape. By continuously identifying, assessing, mitigating, and monitoring risks, organizations can maintain a robust security posture that protects critical assets while supporting business objectives.